one of the best ways that I can uh, illustrate how I use microphone technique as a tool is to give you a specific example of a recording that I have done that I'm sure a lot of you have heard. And that's recording of the Andre Crouch Choir on Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror. And to me, this is a classic example of XY or coincident pair microphone technique. And what it is, is two microphones uh, placed as close together as we possibly can. And the idea being that the arrival time of the sound uh, hits both capsules at almost the same point in time. talk about XY technique, frequently that there's an assumption made that in XY that we would use a cardioid mic, but that's not really true, and I, I, don't, I think that's an assumption that we shouldn't make. And what happens with using cardioid is that we end up with a highly directional microphone system. And uh, also with cardioid, with the large capsule condenser mics, we have a great deal of proximity effect. So if your sound source is closer to one mic than the other, even though their, their mics are very, very close, you will have a distortion of the stereo panorama. But what I do is, that you may find interesting, is I use the mics in Omni. And be, I kind of rely on something that I've known. There are almost no truly omni microphones available to us. There are a couple, but they're highly esoteric. And for instance, even if you, if you take a, a mic that indicates that it's omni, it will still have enough of a polar pattern to it so that used in XY, that uh, the microphones will present a really beautiful stereo spread. What we're going to do is to bring a choir into the studio here, and I'm going to demonstrate how this choir recording technique works with a pair of microphones in the middle of the studio, like this. The mics will be, the capsules will be pointing this way in bi-directional. You can actually do it in omni as well, since there are no truly omni microphones, there will be considerable stereo effect. There will be more stereo width with bi-directional. Then the choir is placed around the studio like this. And then at this width, if the walls of the studio were like this, if you move them in, like this, you would get less early reflections and more presence on the sound. And if you mix the two, if you did one pass at the back position, like from here, and then doubled the choir, had them sing the exact parts again at this position and mix the two, the result is incredible. Actually, we'll, we'll do the whole thing. We're setting it, we're going to record the choir with a XY stereo uh, mic setup or coincident pair. And this is the lower of the two, as I already said. And we'll tighten that up. And this should, the choir will be standing. So this mic will be set right here, and this mic will be moved back here. And it is also to be set for bi-directional, which it now is. And 
The idea with this microphone technique is to have the capsules as close together as possible physically to minimize the phase differences of the arrival time of the sound. And the capsules are at right angles to each other and as close to vertical as we can make them. And the upper one can be dropped just uh, here, right there. As close as we can get them without touching. This is the setup. Uh, for XY coincident pair, both the capsules are set for bi-directional pattern and the mics are as close together as we can possibly get them. This, What this does is the arrival time of the sound at both capsules is as close in time as possible. First what we're going to do is record some ooze with the choir and we'll record a stereo pass of them doing this on a pair of tracks on the multi-track. A circle around the mic. Okay. A little, little different, maybe. So Sherwood probably remembers me doing this. <laughs> we'll go from the top. Uh, earphones, everybody. Uh, the, the mics are live all the way around. So you come this way a little, please? Yeah, great. Okay, yeah, right there. <laughs> There's two ways to approach this. We can have them sing the harmonies at one time and adjust their distance from the microphones to make the harmony balance correct or musical. Or what I like to do is have the choir sing one note of the harmony and then record that on a pair of stereo tracks and then record the next note and so on so that I can adjust the harmony balance during the mixdown process. Okay, here's a take of one of the notes of the choir. Okay, let's listen and check some of these tracks without the cue mix to listen to the stereo image. Here's another take of another note, which is a harmony part with the choir. And here's another note of harmony. And then when we mix this song, I will be able to balance these parts in relationship to the melody.
we'll do now is to record background lyrics with the choir on another pair of tracks on the multi-track tape. Candle to a flame, links that form a chain, I need you. Candle to a flame, links that form a chain, I need you. 